Hello, Mr. Standerson here, and I want to show you a guide to linearizing in four steps. The first step is to graph your data, and you're going to take the values that you get and make an XY scatter plot. Then the next thing is to identify the trend. Looking at the graph you just made, which one of these does it best match? Is it linear? Is it power like X squared? Is it inverse like one over X? Or is it root like the square root of X? That will then help you determine the next step. For step three, you are going to test and check, okay? So you are going to keep your original Y values and then re-graph based on what you think the X value relationship is. If it's a power relationship, you will re-graph by changing all of the X values to X to some power, like could be X squared, X cubed, X to the fourth power. When you re-graph, and this is the key thing, your new graph should be linear. If it is, then you are done and you have found the correct relationship. Now you're gonna look at that and to see as, is it as linear as you can get, okay? The next thing, if it's an inverse relationship, you're going to graph an inverse. So like the X should be one over X. And if that is linear, then you've matched it and you, have, you can move on to the next step. Or if it's a root, if you graph the square root of X or X to the one over N, could be square root, cube root, so on and so forth, um, or like this <clears throat> x to the n root, um, then if that is linear, then you know you're done, and then that becomes your x values, okay? So that's the quick check. Now, remember, if it's linear, you are already finished, and you can rewrite the equation as y equals m, where m is the slope of a linear line, x plus the intercept, B. So we're always going to be shooting for this relationship, y equals mx plus b, in our final answer. That brings us to step four. We want to write our upgraded equation in slope-intercept form, where y is equal to m, m is the slope, we can get that from the trend line, times the x relationship that you use to get the linear fit, plus the y-intercept, b. So if I look at the power, this x isn't just x by itself anymore, it's now x to the power of n. Could be x squared, x cubed, so on. The inverse is one over x, and the root would be like a one over um, uh, x to the um, fraction, or square root of x, or n root of x, something like that. So those are the things to look at when you're writing your final equations, okay? Then the last step is to take that information and what was your X and Y value from your data and rewrite using the slope from your best fit line. So you should end up with an equation in slope intercept form as your fourth step. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.